everyone, Trancher Dunn here. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, today, I have to admit, is not the video that I wanted to go up today, but please bear with me. I'm going to quickly explain what's been going on and then answer the question, uh, or a question that will be the name of the title, I guess. Um, so over the last week, I've been trying to do a couple of videos. Uh, one is the rehousing video, the other being the photo shoot, which is a video for my patrons that I'm working on. And so all these spiders and things that I'm rehousing, the inverts that I'm rehousing, I'm um, getting them into my little photo um, box and uh, getting some pretty good photos, I think, uh, with them. Um, and this was all going really, really well. I obviously had to rehouse something and then clean out that enclosure and then rehouse something else and then do that. And so I rehoused uh, this here in the um, in this tub here. And these have both been rehoused. That's been rehoused. I've got two more ready to go and there's some other bits and bobs. However, I had to suddenly pause with the uh, rehousing videos, which then stopped the actual photo shoot um, sort of continuing, so it's delayed the video. And the reason for that is, and I will very quickly just sort of show you by the way, uh, like the mess that I'm currently working in at the moment. It is, well, I don't like my room being this dirty, but it's just while I'm, you know, obviously sorting things out. Um, basically, I had rehoused the things that I could, and then some of the, the, the inverts, I wanted to put some plants in there, you know, some, um, you know, a variety of just you know nice low maintenance plants, maybe some air plants in there, some nice live moss, and uh, you know try and have it you know, like a bioactive kind of uh, setup going on, which was great. So I I had this stuff ordered and it came in the post. The postman posted it through the letterbox, and my the puppy that's at the house got hold of said plants. And I, d I didn't do a video of it because I was absolutely fuming um, and I was in a, in a vlogging mood. But I did uh, get a single photo of a fraction of the, of the mess. This is just my hallway um, and it's just like just destruction. And the kitchen and the dining room was the same as well, pretty much. So the plants I had ordered had been eaten and destroyed. So I couldn't use them, so I then had to reorder more, and so because of that, it stopped me from finishing the video. So today is actually Saturday, the first uh, of February. Uh, today has been utter chaos. It's been a really, really busy week with work and obviously filming. Like I say, I have uh, I have these enclosures. They are clean and and ready to go for the rehousing, but I've had to sort of come to a, a bit of a standstill with it. Um, so work's been busy, cleaning out the enclosures, trying to do the rehousing, doing the photo shoot, which by the way, if you've ever tried getting assassin bugs out for a photo shoot and they just try and scatter everywhere, it's utter chaos, especially when they get onto the carpet and you're like trying to catch them, but then you've got more like crawling around. Um, honestly, it was not very fun, but um, yes, yeah, it's been a really, really busy week. Uh, last night was busy uh, with work, uh, didn't get back in last night till what time was it? Like 1 a.m. I think it was this morning I got back in from work, give or take. Uh, and then I've been out a few times today as well. So it's just been a really, really busy day, uh, which is rubbish. So I thought I'd just do a, a kind of a quick explanation as to why the rehousing video isn't up to date like I wanted. But um, like I say, I, I've got other things. You know, I am working on it. it. It is happening. I just had to delay it because of my dog eating my homework. Um, I was talking to um, to a good friend this morning and that's what they said, they, that was the word that they used was, oh, you know, your dog ate your homework. It's like, well, yeah, I can't finish it because of that. So anyway, so that video will be out. I will not bother waiting till next week because the plants actually came yesterday, but I don't have time to, to do them today because of work and things. So I'm gonna do this video today, carry on with the rehousings and things and then that video, I will just publish that on the soonest day. So it could be Monday, it might be Wednesday, it could be Friday. It'll just go up, so just stay tuned. Make sure you're, you're subscribed so that you don't miss that video. Because um, I think the rehousing video will, will, will be quite good. And you get to see uh, you know, some of the animals I don't normally see. And of course, I'll be doing the T-Sardonia video on its own. Because the T-Sardonia video will be a enclosure setup and care guide for how I've keeping this particular spider and she's wonderful so 
with that said, done and out of the way, um, yeah, topic of today's video. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet. I'm probably going to call it something like, what's the weirdest thing you've ever been asked? Now, I am actually working on a Q&A video, which my patrons have been fantastic. And they've been asking me lots of uh, really, really cool questions. And that video will be up after the BTS lectures because I'm hoping that some of them, rather than them sending me the clips, I have a video on my Patreon for patrons, basically. But because um, some, some of my patrons are going to the lectures, I will be meeting up with them personally and they can actually ask me face to face, record it. They can ask and I have to answer it straight away, pretty much. Uh, and that way, if they're YouTubers, they can be in the video, they can introduce their channel sort of things and I also get to have some of the most supportive people that support my channel actually appearing on my video and you can see who these people are um, and of course yeah my thanks to all of those um, so that video will be up after the lectures but there is one question that I want to answer um, I get this question an awful lot and I now seems like a good time to answer it and that is what is the weirdest thing uh, like the weirdest message you've received now, I receive an awful lot of strange messages. Um, if you make YouTube, if you have any kind of a social following, you will know what I mean. Uh, you receive lots of um, images, um, which I never asked for, and most of a little bit unnecessary, but you know, that's the way it is. Um, and obviously, yeah, I get some really great questions. I enjoy talking you know, to people and trying to engage with them. But I had one the other day, and it was, a week ago, last Friday, because uh, today's Saturday, so yeah, last Friday, um, just leaving work, my phone beeped and I was driving, so I thought I will answer this when I get back. And I'm actually going to put the message here, so you can actually see it and read it. I will, of course, blank out the numbers, because that's just, you know. Um, but I had this message, um, which I got when I, when I got home, and a friend of mine, I um, sort of told her, I was just a channel, I said, oh, like, I've just had this message from Judge Rinder. We were joking, it's like going on Jeremy Kyle kind of thing, you know, you don't really want to go on that show. Um, and I had a long, hard thought, because I genuinely thought that someone, someone was going to try and take me out to Judge Rinder and uh, sue me. And I was like, well, like, you know, I couldn't think of anything that I'd done really that would warrant me going to Judge Rinder. Um, so I called the number up and I spoke to a, a lovely lady called Charlotte and she was really, really friendly and, you know, very sort of, what's the word, energetic, you know. Um, you know, like when you see those like children's TV presenters that are really irritating because of how happy they just seem. Um, yeah, she was like that, but wonderful, very, very pleasant. Um, and basically, I wish I had recorded the conversation because it was just a really good conversation, but basically, um, I was contacted by the judge in the crew at ITV just a week ago uh, because they want me to go on to Judge Rinder and take my spiders. So um, I was like, okay, well, I don't know how I would take my spiders on to Judge Rinder because, you know, it's a court for, for things. And um, I was a little bit, I mean, I, I was amused, but I was a bit like, look, I, I don't have a case. Like, I don't. You know, and they were just like, oh, well, um, you know, it'd be really cool to have you and your spiders on the show. It'd be really, really interesting. You just come on, have a talk, and then have some kind of a case, and then you go. And I was like, well, that's great, but, like, I don't have a case. And um, it ended up, like, I don't know how long the conversation was. It wasn't that long. Maybe, like, 20 minutes or something like um, Of suggestions on how I could go on to Judge Rinder which uh, included, um, have you ever had a animal arrive dead in the post, a DOA? Have you ever bought an enclosure or equipment from a supplier and it came damaged or not arrived at all? Have you ever bought an animal and it has been, um, you know, it's not lasted very long or it's died? Have you ever had someone come round to your house and handle a spider and drop it and kill it or they drop a tank and kill it or... Have you ever had a run-in with, with a supplier that's sort of... And I'm sort of thinking, I'm like, well, to be fair, most of my animals that I have, most of the enclosures are either... Like, I get a lot of questions about these ones. Um, with the, I'll show you this one with the P. Regal. Um, I, got, I get a lot of people asking me about like this enclosure in particular, where I got it from. You cannot get this enclosure, at least not from the same guy, because he no longer makes them. 
Um, but like, they were sent to me for free. They were review copies. The coffin ones uh, I had from um, a friend who gave me them for a really, really good price. I could actually, here's a, here's a case, so I could probably go on on these. Um, this one is Poclotheria Hanuma Velus Amica. If I just take the lid off. Um, if you look here, there's like um, glass down here. And this piece, uh, the glass has actually broke in it like, like it, the silicon wore off and it fell in. So I have like a piece of tape along there. But considering what I paid for these, I think, I think these were only like 20 quid each or 40 quid each or something. They weren't a lot. Um, so, I mean, I could probably do that, but then because I got them at such a good price, most of the, well, all of the animals are either A, sent to me or given here for, like, you know, for free or whatever, or I have bought them from suppliers or from people and the customer service has been that good that I never have to ever think about even messaging them to say, hey, that spider that, you, that I bought off you, it's dead or the tank's damaged or anything. So, um, unfortunately, I, I don't really have a case to go on Judge Rinder, but I was quite interested. Um, I just sort of being sort of sought out by the show and figured that would be an interesting story because I mean, I, I get contacted by um, companies every now and again, you know, BBC, um, Netflix and, and things like that. I've, you know, I've, I have uh, footage on, on Netflix and, and BBC and stuff, uh, which is always really, really cool. And it's always nice promotion, you know, uh, so long as it's done correctly. I don't believe that going on Judge Rinda would really do me. Like, I can't imagine viewers watching Judge Rinda and going, I'm going to go and check out that guy. He's got some cool, you know. No one's gonna, they're gonna go, he's a freak with spiders. We don't wanna watch that, you know? Um, so yeah, I just thought it was quite an interesting story and one that I could talk about uh, today whilst also posing a question to all of you. If you are a YouTuber, what's the strangest message that you have ever received off someone? Um, whether it's like just a random like fan or um, you know, from a company or something like that. And if you are not a YouTuber, uh, what's the strangest thing you've ever been asked? Uh, when the video goes up, I will keep my eye on the comments and uh, the funniest uh, reaction by uh, the time that I finish uh, the video for the you know, the rehousing video, the funniest question that, that I read or funniest answer that I read, I will read that out um, on, on the next video. So uh, you can give a shout out and have your weirdest story uh, shared with the world and I'd also like to know how you answered that if you're happy to share that um, might be a bit of fun so yeah anyway no judge window for me um, as cool as it would be but uh, not for me not for my spiders um, but certainly interesting I thought it would be a good little story so thank you I hope you've enjoyed this video I'm sorry the planned video will, is not up today but it will be up um, very very soon I am working on it I'm gonna literally I've got a few messages to send now I'm going to crack on and get uh, the enclosures sort of finished and uh, the video will be up soon and to my patrons please keep your eye, don't forget to keep the questions coming and uh, stay tuned for the pet photo shoot video, I really hope you'll enjoy that, um, it should be quite fun and uh, something a little bit different I guess. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, hope you all have a wonderful day, take care and I'll see you all soon in the next video, take care and goodbye from me.